Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Northbound Motorcycle ADV. And in today's adventure, I'm loading up the bike with camping gear and I'm gonna ride north out of Eureka, California. And I'm gonna make a side detour through Redwood National and State Parks to a destination that I think most people aren't even aware that's there. So come on with me, jump on the back, and let's go for a ride and I think you're gonna enjoy this. Let's take the long way. Now, for those of you that follow the channel, you know I like to take the long way around, take those back roads to get everywhere I want to go. And every time I go north on Highway 101, I always take the Newton B. Jury Scenic Parkway. And this is what you get. It's a perfect place to pull over, take a rest, have a coffee break, and then continue on with your, your journey north. Okay, so I wanted to show you this map over here. Explain to you exactly where we're at and uh, where we're going. So if you notice, down at the bottom of this map, it says Eureka is 21 miles. That's where we started. So we drove, we rode up 101, past Big Lagoon, continued on the Redwood Highway, past Stone Lagoon, came up past the visitor center, past the, the town of Oric, continued on up. Now we split off the 101 onto this Newton B. Jury Scenic Parkway, and this is where we are right now. So we're at the Prairie Creek Visitor Center. So we're gonna continue on up this part, this scenic drive, tie back into 101, and then continue up to Klamath Beach Road we're gonna make a left there, and then we're gonna cut on over, and we're gonna do this little loop right here. And during that little loop, this is what we're after. A World War II radar station that is disguised as a farmhouse. And that's pretty cool. So that's where we're going today. That's what we're gonna go look at. I'm just stopping for coffee right now. So let's continue the ride. And just go check this place out. It's pretty cool. I think you can enjoy it.
Okay, so we've arrived at the beginning of the coastal trail. And as you pull off of uh, Klamath Beach Road, you make a left. There's a nice little parking lot here before you get going. But there's also another interpretive sign here, which is a pretty good one. So it talks a little bit about the coastal trail, some of the stuff that you'll see on there. But there's a little zoomed in map that I want to show you. Kind of show you a little bit more about where we're at, what we're doing. So we're currently here and we came off the 101. Now we're gonna take Alder Camp Road. We're gonna go over here to High Bluff uh, Overlook, have some lunch, and then we're gonna take a dirt road down to the, road, to the uh, radar station, and then continue on down and then finish up on Klamath, on, uh, Klamath Beach Road. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Let's get to it. Hope you're having a good time. Let's go for a ride. Now the Coastal Drive is actually an old stagecoach road from the 1890s and is a six mile round trip ride that begins with a paved two lane road with beautiful redwoods and huge spruce trees as you get closer to the ocean. Still cool. Now, after having a large sandwich and a cold beer, I hung out for about an hour waiting for the uh, marine layer to lift, and that fog just didn't want to go away. So, unfortunately, there really wasn't any filming for me to do to show you just how beautiful this overlook really is. So, I uh, leave that for you to explore on your own. Let's go check out the radar station. Now it's important to note that this section of the Coastal Loop Trail is a gravel one-way road that literally hangs on the Pacific Ocean. Uh, again, I apologize for the fog, but it does have some really magnificent views that is worth the trip. So I did a little bit of research before coming down here, and this facility in its day was officially known as Radar Station B-71 Klamath. 
They like that ocean spray. All right. Here's one of two buildings. Now the first building that you come to down the trail is the building that was disguised to look like the barn. Uh, that building actually, uh, when it was operational, was used to house the, the men to run the station. And the second building that you come to was actually the, the farm itself. It was disguised to look like the main farm house where people would be living. But in reality, it actually housed the, uh, the radar equipment and some anti-aircraft equipment from what I understand. Well, for the most part, it's pretty well boarded up, but you can tell that uh, at one time, overlooking the ocean, it probably did its job pretty well. I'm pretty sure that the level of the skies is not up to what it was when it was operational, but still, this is a bit of history that's pretty cool to the north coast, you know, and come check it out. This is all here for you. It's a great ride getting here. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this ride out to Redwood National and State Parks to look at a bit of our history here on the North Coast. I apologize for the fog. I was really hoping to give you some spectacular views of the Pacific Ocean, but nature didn't cooperate this time around. So, as I said earlier, I'm heading north to go camping. So, maybe on the way back, I'll swing through here and see if it's uh, open for filming. So, maybe in episode 10, we'll get a little recap. Until then, we'll see you next time.